This morning, new revelations that U.S. intelligence officials last week warned lawmakers about Russian efforts to interfere in the 2020 election to help reelect President Trump. That, according to a former intelligence official briefed on the matter, the news first reported by the New York Times. The election security briefing reportedly infuriated the president, who, according to the Times, fumed about the presence in the briefing of Adam Schiff, the Democrat who spearheaded the impeachment effort against him. Schiff, a frequent target for President Trump. These people are vicious. Adam Schiff is a vicious, horrible person. The Washington Post reports, according to people familiar with the matter, that the president was angry with his acting director of national intelligence, Joseph McGuire, and gave him a dressing down over what the president perceived as disloyalty by McGuire's staff. The Post says the president erroneously believed the briefing was given exclusively to Schiff and that the information would be used against him by Democrats. All of it, according to a former U.S. senior official, costing McGuire his job. He's been replaced temporarily by Richard Grinnell, the U.S. ambassador to Germany and a fierce Trump advocate who has no intelligence experience. The president overnight thanking Grinnell for his service in a tweet, adding he'll be nominating a new candidate for the job soon. It comes as President Trump hints he's prepared to pardon a key figure in the 2016 Russia investigation, his longtime friend and former advisor, Roger Stone. I'm following this very closely, and I want to see it play out to its fullest because Roger has a very good chance of exoneration, in my opinion. Those comments hours after a federal judge sentenced Stone to more than three years in prison for witness tampering and lying to Congress. Judge Amy Berman Jackson praising the prosecution, saying the case against Stone was not political. Quote, you were not prosecuted for standing up for the president, the judge said. You were prosecuted for covering up for the president. And some of the president's advisors tell me if President Trump decides to pardon Stone, they want him to wait until after the election so he doesn't risk turning off undecided voters in crucial swing states. Savannah? Uh, Peter, before I let you go, let's go back to this issue of what's happening in the Intelligence Committee. And the president has indicated now who he is considering to be the permanent director of national intelligence. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's right. President Trump last night aboard Air Force One telling reporters that he is considering Georgia Congressman Doug Collins as his permanent spy chief. Collins, you may recognize that name. He was one of the president's loudest and fiercest Republican defenders during the impeachment hearings. A Collins pick, though, would certainly infuriate the president's critics who say that America's spy agencies should not be run by someone who is an overt partisan. Savannah. All right, Peter Alexander leading us off. Thank you.